Hey, good Tuesday morning, everyone. This is Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Tuesday, August the 22nd. I hope you woke up in a good place this morning on this Tuesday morning. I remember a disc jockey when I used to listen to the radio many years ago. I can't remember his name, honestly, but he had a saying when he came on the air and several times while he was on the air. And he said, each new day should be unwrapped like a precious gift. And those words always stuck with me. The issue is listening to those words, right? And acting on them and realizing that each day is a precious gift and we should unwrap it and put it to good use. It just came to me this morning. I thought I would share it with you because it is really a uh, positive saying to start our day with. In any event, we're going to launch into another positive thought as we look at the gospel today. So I'm going to ask you to quiet your minds and hearts as we listen to St. Matthew chapter 19, verses 23 to 30. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men this is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you have followed me in this new age. When the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. You know, for just about all of us, we look and strive each day to try to be a better person, to try to be a little bit more productive to the world, a little bit more compassionate, as I always say. We really do, as I say, most of us have it deep within our heart and it connects to our mind and we try very hard to do so. So when we look at the gospel today and we hear Jesus say that it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle, we can sit back and say, well, gee, this is like Mission Impossible. And as he always does, Jesus puts out a challenge for us and lets us think about it. Well, it's not impossible. And maybe a little bit of history can help here. For it's literally not a knitting needle and a camel going through it that Jesus is referring to. He is referring to an encampment that was back in those days that was surrounded by or encircled by a huge brick stone wall. And the entranceway was called the needle. And the needle was an arcway, an arch, that was very low to the ground. So a camel who came upon the needle to enter into this encampment had to actually get down on his knees practically, the poor animal had to do this, and then inch his way through the needle, the ark, to get into the encampment. It wasn't easy for the camel to do this, and the disciples knew that when Jesus put this story before them. But let's look at it very carefully and maybe a little bit of knowledge of a camel, who is a, a beautiful animal actually, one that should be treated a little bit better, especially today in the Middle East where they're used as working animals and not treated very nicely. But they're actually very smart. They're very astute. So the camel knew that he had to be patient and he had to have focus to get through the eye of the needle. So do we. We need patience and we need focus. And we need it every day. We can't have patience and focus on Monday and surrender it on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and try to get it back on Friday. There needs to be some consistency to our patience with ourselves and our focus. And then the camel had to rely on the other person, the person who was leading him through the needle. 
And there too, we have to pick and choose the right individuals to lead us through, to help us, to be our mentor. The camel didn't have a choice, but we do. We do have a choice to look at those around us and say, that's the one who's going to give me tough love when I need it. That's the one who's going to give me encouragement when I need it. And when that was given to the camel, the camel combined with his own patience and focus got through the needle. So as you see, it's not impossible. As you see, it's very possible. And it's possible for us as well. It takes patience, it takes focus, and it takes picking the right mentors along the way to guide us into the life that we want to truly be in. A life that will pay off, as Jesus says in the gospel, many times over. Pay off with a peaceful heart today and eternal life tomorrow. Well, my friends, that's my message for you on this Tuesday. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, I ask you to share it on your page for others. I always welcome your comments, your thoughts, your questions. I appreciate you being here with me. Let's take a quick moment of silence to meditate on what we heard today. If there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them right here. And then I'll close with a prayer. Most loving God, we thank you for each new day that you provide to us to grow, to grow as a person that you ask us to be, that we want to be, one that is filled with compassion, one that is filled with peace. Let us not look at this life as something that's impossible. Let us look at it with a challenge in mind and joy, with patience and focus. And let us also pray for the animals around the world, like the camels, who are working and treated not as they should be. Let them be calmed and have peaceful hearts. And let those who are, those who are working with them treat them better with more compassion and love. We ask all things in your holy name, and we thank you again for this day. My friends, I wish you a wonderful Tuesday, and I'll see you back here soon. Take care, everyone.